Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you and this time I'm going to show you in this tutorial what makes a good password. Now I'm going to show you a chart here that gives you a breakdown to really understand what minimum requirements you should consider for a good password. So this chart only shows you so much and I got a couple of charts to show you and there's more to it than that so you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video and make sure you really understand all the components to a good password and also to try and make it so it's not too difficult to remember or to read off of something you have it written on when you got to type it into your tiny little phone and not something you can easily copy and paste from on a computer so let's dive in here now based on the minimum requirements that you get from the various websites that you go to they all pretty much say it's got to be a minimum of eight characters long and got to have at least one number one lowercase letter and one uppercase and a symbol so you got to have at least one of each of these things and this chart kind of breaks it down if you were only using numbers or only lowercase letters or upper and lowercase or if you include numbers with the upper and lowercase or if you do all that and include symbols so we can see right off the bat there that anything uh, that's six characters long can be hacked instantly and that's a brute force attack in 2023 and keep in mind that this only gets worse year after year and it can be worse than what this chart says so as time goes on by the time you're reading this it's going to be worse so expect that now if we look at the minimum requirements eight characters long it says here that if it's numbers or lowercase letters only it could be hacked instantly but if we were to go all the way over and include symbols with the upper and lowercase and numbers, it could be hacked in five minutes. And this is what banks and other organizations are recommending as minimum requirements still. And they have been recommending this and they haven't updated what the minimum requirements are for quite some time now. So everyone is just like sheep basically and they're just copy and paste what everyone else says and like yep that's the minimum requirements and we all remember that so we just keep doing that. No. No God please no. No. It's wrong. You could be hacked in five minutes according to this and it gets worse so just wait for the next slide. So based on this slide though if we look at uh, how long it can get hacked so five minutes six hours that's still within a day two weeks that's still too fast we don't want that three years okay that's more reasonable if you want to go crazy you can go down further and look at all the rest of these here but for now three years that's better so let's go all the way over to the left and see how many characters we require for that kind of strength it's 11 characters so no more eight character long passwords based on this chart you want to have it at least 11 characters long with the number upper lowercase and symbols and i would even go as far to say two of each minimum not one of each minimum so at least two numbers and at least two lowercase letters and two uppercase and two symbols that's what i would add to this but hang on because this is just brute force attacks i'm going to show you chat gpt so now if we look at that same uh eight let's start with the eight character long password with all the letters numbers symbols one second they might as well have just said instantly so if we look at the 11 character long password that i was recommending based on the brute force attack then with all the characters and everything it could be hacked in four days so that's not great all of a sudden we drop down from three years to hack in to four days now if we add it another character 12 characters long eight months so less than a year that's still worse than what it was so let's jump it up to 13 characters uh, with 13 character long password they're estimating 47 years to hack that password so 
it's all relative because it depends how complex the password is and I'm going to show you that as well because there's everyone looks for shortcuts and ways out of making they they just want to make life easier so in the end they end up making themselves more vulnerable so I'm going to show you this in a moment let's look at the password complexity now based on the old eight character long password that's got to have at least one letter one number one symbol um, let's look at this password it looks like the word password people were being clever by using words and inserting symbols in place of letters and then you would think when you look at this well it, it is true this would pass as meeting the minimum requirements the word password written this way you can see that we have a uppercase letter we have a symbol we got a number we have actually two numbers in a row there and then we got a lowercase letter so already there we've met uh, the requirements for the type of characters that we're using and when you finish writing out the word there it is eight characters long so we have officially met the minimum requirements of eight characters long with at least one uppercase one lowercase a number and a symbol that password though even though it meets those minimum requirements it sucks it's very easily guessed and it would be in the password diary or password dictionary which they actually exist it's another form of attack where a hacker could use a dictionary attack to hack somebody so if your password's in the dictionary they're gonna get it so and using something like this you think is clever they've already got that sorted out and it's added to a special dictionary that they have so if we compare that to this other password that I've got here so this one here secret codes is what it's written out in case you couldn't figure that out too quickly and it's 11 characters long so that meets our minimum requirements for a brute force attack not considering the chat GPT attack which we would want to make it 13 characters long but in this example I'm showing you how you could possibly make a little bit better password but having the secret codes it's got a symbol lowercase letters uppercase number we're meeting all the requirements there we're going beyond the eight characters long and uh, we in this particular example I only have one symbol so it would be great to have at least two symbols and we've got only one uppercase letter so you probably want to have at least two uppercase and we've already got two numbers and we've got way more than two lowercase letters so it's still showing that there's room for improvement even with this password but I wouldn't even recommend that type of a password uh, the passwords that I would recommend are something that there's no way you're going to be easily able to type in every day especially because it's going to be something like this but yeah that's going to be too complicated so something a little bit more realistic would be something like this where you would actually write out a sentence of some sort that would make sense to you but make sure that you're always including at least two uppercase two lowercase two numbers and two symbols and that's my recommendation to help you create a much better password and the longer it is the better it is so always keeping in mind this chart as well as the fact that it's going to get worse year after year and with the new information that I provided you that shows you how to make a password don't just come up with something smart thinking that you're still meeting the minimum requirements of it being so long and having at least one or two upper and lowercase but if it's too basic then it could still be hacked also one final tip for you if you're still watching here maybe you can put in the comments below that you got this tip and that is to make sure you're not using something that a hacker could easily find on your social media posts so if you put something like uh, let's say Mercedes 2023 because you just bought yourself a Mercedes in the year 2023 
and you're getting the upper lowercase uh, uh, characters and you got numbers and all you got to do is throw a symbol in there well they're going to probably assume that you use that because it would be a unique password and they can see that you posted that you got a Mercedes then. So that would go into their customized dictionary of possible passwords that you would use and that's how a lot of hackers will get in as well. They're not just brute force attacking, they're using some kind of reconnaissance and intelligence to look up what could possibly be your password based on your posts that you do online. So that takes us slightly off topic by being careful what you post, but also don't choose passwords based on things that you would have posted online. Make sure they're very, very unique and very difficult to guess and almost impossible to guess and definitely not something that they can look up by looking at things that you have online. So with all that information, now you should be able to create some really good strong passwords as well don't use the same password for every site out there and that is another thing that i've seen people do and they try and make things easier by using the same password for everything so if you got that put in the comments maybe below that you've got the uh, final tip you know no passwords the same all right that's it for this tutorial. I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Even better, give it a super thanks. And thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.